praise God. Today I would like to share with you a testimony. Early morning at 4 a.m. today, that is 20th May, during my personal prayer time, Holy Spirit inspired me to read Psalm number 34. So I opened the Bible and began to read. Then suddenly my my uh, my attention was caught by verse 4. It reads like this. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. This verse inspired me to look in my mind, in my heart. And there I detected a virus, that is fear of coronavirus. That's why the Lord reminded me to take that word. So he said, I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all my fears. The Lord wanted to set me free from all my fears. So suddenly the Lord pointed out to that fear within me. The reason for that fear was often we are daily, we are so many times we hear on the telephone the warnings about Corona. And also in the social media, the messages keep coming. Some days some are very scary messages. And to add to it, the fact that I am a, I'm a senior citizen, I'm now 67, with a weak lungs. And one more thing that happened was, recently we got the news that near our house here, maybe after two houses away from uh, about, about two after two houses there are one or two houses where there are people who are sick with corona so all these things created a fear within me a fear of corona and that that was really controlling me all my thoughts, all my actions. Because I am I'm also said to be a high risk person. Of course I I keep all the uh, all the rules that are the instructions given by the government. Yet I realized there's no reason for me to be scared of corona. So, therefore I decided to get rid of this fear from my heart. The fear should not remain in my heart. I, as a child of God, fear has no place in me. And therefore, I decided to use, to follow unbound method of deliverance using five keys to get rid of fear from my heart. Unbound method of deliverance is a very effective method of method that's able to set people free. So I use that method. The five keys. The first key is repentance and faith. So I repented for my dis distrust in God. That's why I fear. If I fear, there's no there's. If I, if I if I trust, there's no fear. So I repented for my distrust in the Lord, and affirmed my trust in the Lord, in God my Father. 
And the second key is to forgive. Now, whom to forgive? The persons through whom this fear came to me. For me, it was people who sent the messages, scary messages. So I forgive all those people who continuously gave scary messages. And the three, the key number three is to renounce. I renounced fear from my heart in the name of Jesus. The fear has no place in my heart because I am a child of God. I, re I renounce the fear of Corona from my heart. And then comes the fourth key. Fourth key is to use authority. When there is fear, the spirit of fear comes. When, when you get scared of something, at once comes the spirit of fear. Spirit of fear comes to make it firm, make it strong. So I used the, the fourth key, the authority, the authority of being a child of God. I exerc exercise my authority as a child of God, which this is authority which I received in the baptism. And in the authority of, also the authority of being a priest, I commanded in the name of Jesus, the spirit of fear to leave my mind, leave my heart. Because it has no place in me. It should not remain in my heart. My heart belongs to Jesus. And then the fifth key is to uh, to receive Father's blessing. So I open my heart to Jesus and with Jesus so that Jesus may fill my heart with all the blessing the Father has promised. So I opened my heart and prayed for my heart to be, my life to be filled with the blessings of the Father. And Psalm number 34 verse 5 says, Look to him and be radiant. So when we look at Jesus, we become, we are radiant, we become radiant, we become joyful. Because fear has no place in our lives. The Lord filled me with a new courage and strength. I will not fear Corona virus anymore. That fear has no place in my heart. Even if the if I happen to uh, to be attacked by the coronavirus, my God, my Jesus, will give me strength to overcome it. And I am con I am convinced. God has given me a mission. God has given me a life. Until the mission entrusted to me is accomplished, the Lord will keep me alive. That's a confidence. And then in the sight of the Lord, my mission is accomplished, the Lord, me, the Lord will take me to himself. At that time, whether I die of Corona or anything else, that doesn't matter. What matters is that I belong to Jesus. And I shall be with him forever. So fear has no place in my life because of my trust in the Lord, because I hope in the Lord. So may God bless all of you and give you courage and strength in the name of Jesus. May God bless you. Thank you.